In this SketchUp video, I want to go through the process uh, that you might use to create something like a door. Uh, it's going to be very similar to what we did with the window, but um, maybe just a little bit more complicated. So the type of door we're looking to create, uh, you know, might look something like this. So it's a um, standard size door here in the center with some side lights um, on each side of the door. Um, they're just simple, plain, you know, one panel glass in this case, and keeping it pretty simple, but you could certainly get more elaborate if you wanted to, or use your materials to make them, you know, stained glass or that type of thing. So to get started, we're just going to make the um, frame. So there's, you know, many ways to go about doing something like this, um, but I think I'll start from the ground up, although you could certainly draw vertically and push back if that's something you wanted to do. Okay, so I'm just going to grab a rectangle and start on the ground. I'm going to click and pull my mouse out and I can see down at the bottom in the value control box where it's asking the dimensions that I should put the larger number first and what we're going to do is make this uh, six feet by six inches. So six feet by six inches. So we'll get a long narrow rectangle like that. And then we're going to push this up or pull this up rather. So I'm going to grab my push pull tool and I'm going to go up. Um, I'm not worried about, you know, super accurate measurements at this point. So I might just make this like seven feet, for example. Just keep the numbers easy. Okay, so you can see how we're getting the same basic shape as we have over here on the left. Once I have this in place, I could use something like offset to get the frame that's going around the outside. So I'm going to come over to my toolbox and grab the offset tool, select the edge, and then pull my mouse in. So, you know, maybe I want to do something like a two inch uh, trim around the outside. So let's do two, enter. And now I have uh, that trim going along the edge. I might perhaps, you know, do um, some framing around the door as well. And so I could use my tape measure tool to, uh, you know, make that a little bit easier. So I might grab a vertical from the edge and snap to the midpoint. So I have a line going right down the middle. Now this is just a tape measure. This is not a line, but this is going to be a guide to help me draw them in a minute. Then I might go off of this guideline and I'll go out in each direction. So if I wanted to make this a, you know, a 36 inch door, for example, I'll go out 18 inches to the left and then 18 inches to the right. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. And I could even create some more guides to make my life a little easier. So, you know, maybe off of this um, leftmost guideline, I'll make another one that's perhaps two inches away. And the same on the right. And then I could use um, a rectangle and fill those in. That's where my trim's going to go. Something like that. It's looking pretty good. At this point, I could use my eraser tool and wipe those away, get that cleaned up a little bit. Now that we have the basic frame of our door created, we have a few different options in terms of how we'd like to go about creating some of this detail. What I'm going to do is actually use the push-pull tool to push out these center pieces. The reason for that is if we rotate around to the back, you see right now this one is still a solid face. And what we're going for is, you know, having this all divided up so you can see the detail of the door. So uh, what I'm going to do is just grab the push-pull tool, select each of these faces, and what I need to do is get into a view so that when I push, it says on face and I get that dotted look to the screen so then when I click it will actually remove that face entirely. You have to be at the right angle for that to work. If you can't quite swing around to get to that if it isn't working, 
what you can do is, of course, just type in the number of the distance so that it zeroes out. So if this is six inches thick, if I type in six, enter, that will also remove it. So there's a few different ways to go about it. Now that I have that, what I'm going to do is use my rectangle tool to draw faces at the midpoints inside of here. So I need to be zoomed in a little bit to get that midpoint down in the corner there. And then I just need to scroll and orbit around to find the midpoint at the opposite corner. Okay, so there's one face. Here's the middle one for the door, and then the last one. There we go. Okay, so now we have all three panels. At this point, I'm just going to leave the side uh, glass pieces, the side lights, plain, but you could certainly add more detail there if you wanted to. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually focus on the door. I'm going to use the offset tool again and offset the edge in something like four inches. So I have, um, you know, this, uh, you know, wooden part that'll go around the glass or whatever I might do. Then I'm actually going to select and delete this interface because it's going to act funny and cause me some trouble when I actually try to. Um, use the push-pull tool. Okay, so then I'm going to use the push-pull tool and in this case I'm just going to bring this forward uh, maybe something like two inches, something like that. So it'll actually be a little bit deeper on the back side, but that's okay. Once I have that in place, I can come back in with my rectangle tool and do the same thing where I add that face in there. I'm doing it right at those midpoints. There we go. And now really the last thing I need to do is a handle of some sort. So I'm doing sort of a long bar, you know, you could make this um, whatever you want. So I'm actually going to do that off to the side a little bit. To create this door handle, I'm going to make a small rectangle and then ultimately use the follow me tool. Um, to do this, I'm actually just going to use the line tool or the pencil, and I'm just drawing off in outer space right now. So I'm going to start, and I think I'll just make the handle a one inch by one inch square, really. So I'm just letting the mouse snap to each axis, okay? And then... I am going to draw a line coming out maybe three inches from that little square, going up maybe uh, two feet, and then back in three inches. Okay, so what we have there is the path that that little square is going to take using the follow me tool. All right, so once I have that, I will come over, grab follow me, click on that face, and then just glide it along that path. There we go. And click at the end point, and now I have the handle. What I'm going to do is select this by clicking on it three times, and right click and say make group. I wouldn't have to do this, um, but I think that I will. Okay, so once I have this group together, what I'm going to do is actually make a copy of that. Okay, so when I make a copy, remember, use the Move tool. You select the group in this case, but then you hit the Control key. That's how you make a copy. Okay, and then I will... Just let that glide along the x-axis there, just so they're lined up. And now I have two of them. If I wanted to put these on opposite sides, I would probably like those handles to be reversed and mirror each other. So what I can do is grab the scale tool, grab those center grippers 
and then just flip it this way. When I get to negative one, that's a mirror image. Okay, so now I can put one on either side of the door. Once I have the handles created and mirrored, I can move them into place. There's a few different ways to go about doing something like that, but uh, I could certainly grab the tape measure tool and measure on the door itself to give myself a guideline. So perhaps I wanted to come up and have the top of the handle at uh, four feet. And then I could say that I wanted it to be, for example, an inch in from that edge. Then I could use the move tool, select the handle, I'm grabbing that upper left corner, and I can snap it right to where those two lines meet. That's pretty simple. So I can spin it around and do the same thing on the other side. I could line up at the bottom, come up four feet, and then an inch in. And then I'll just move my handle from that corner point and snap it right there. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay, I might just use my eraser tool to erase those guides, get that cleaned up a little bit, and now we have a door. To put that into our house model, remember that it's important to cut the hole where the object's going to go, otherwise you'll have um, faces existing in the same place. So to do that, I might use the tape measure tool again and uh, line this up a little bit. So what I need to do actually before I grab that tape measure tool is double click. I need to get in and edit that group. So this uh, unit of walls in, in the floor, for example, here are a group. So I need to get in there to cut the hole. If I don't actually activate the group and get into edit mode, I can draw whatever I want on top of it, but it's not going to cut the hole through it. And that can be really frustrating. Okay, so now that I've actually selected it, what I'm going to do is come in and maybe I'll make a guide. Well, actually, I'm going to make the guide from the bottom up. Let's do it that way. So from the bottom up, and I believe that we made that door seven feet. Okay, so we'll go from there. Okay, and then what I might actually do is give myself just a vertical line from the top down. That can be an easy way to go. And then use my tape measure tool again and go out three feet in each direction. Once I have that, I can use my rectangle tool or line tool, so I really like to work, to divide that up. I don't really need that middle guide anymore, so I'll get rid of that. And then use my push-pull tool to push my way through. I don't think I quite got it there. Oops, I backed up too far. Try that one more time. There we go. Now we have a hole cut for a front door. Just going to erase those guides. And grab my door and move it in. I think I'll select the whole door right click and say make group that'll make it easier to deal with and get into place all right so once we have that i'm going to use move grab the corner of the door frame that's really on one of the side lights i'll zoom in and snap it into place okay well, that looks pretty good so now we actually have a front door on our house and we can see that from the inside as well. Alright, that's looking pretty good.